Hi, in this video I will demonstrate how to find a restriction enzyme that can be used to dis distinguish the wild type MSH2 from the mutant MSH2. So first we are going to uh, find out where the mutation uh, located between the wild type MSH2 and the mutant MSH2. So here's the wild type P MSH2 sequences. That's the uh, this is one of the mutant AG422. Uh, we are using an APE, a plasmid editor. Uh, go to Tools, Align to Sequences. So I'm going to put a wild type at the top, uh, mutant at the bottom. OK. Here's the alignment. Okay, I found my uh, point mutation here. So this is uh, phi 2, the 1, 10, 20, 30, about 38. So that phi 2, 38 is a mutation between wild type and mutant. And our goal is to find whether there is a restriction enzyme that we can use. We'll distinguish these differences. Now, uh, most of the restriction enzyme probably are going to work on a uh, 4 base pair to 8 or 10 base pair and just to be sure I'm going to copy a uh, 10 to the left and 10 to the right so let's first start from the top so about 10 at the top I highlight everything go to text copy and then I'm going to go to a site called NEB cutter so if you if I just Google NEB cutter, it's going to take me to the site. Right. So <clears throat> just to be clear, I'm going to put a faster header there. This is a wild type and that's a two by two three A. Submit. Okay, so this is how the wild type uh, is it's cutting here so I'm going to uh, copy this picture and then uh, save it to a Word document and on PC, you may have different screen copy function, but and that's some. This is wild type MSH2 by 238 position there. Oops, and then I'm going to do the mutant AG422 mutant MSH2 by I go back to APE, so I'm going to highlight the same sequences here. Approximately. Uh, copy, and go back to the AB cutter. And this time I'm going to change this one to AG. This AG422. Submit. Okay, and let's uh, save the screen again. Go back to my Word document. Okay, <clears throat> now make sure we know where the, mut uh, the mutation is. So the mutation is something here. The, in the wild type is a G, in the mutant is A. So we have to look for something TTT, AAA, TGT. So the, the, the A in the middle is the change. So that's TTT, AAA. 
ETG. So the mutation is right here. It's the, the A in the middle. That's where the mutation. So any enzyme will cut this side. Near this side should work. So, and that's AGA, that's wild type. So, MSL1, this is a bad enzyme because it cut both wild type here and the, also the mutant here. So, SWA1, that seems to be a good enzyme. This is a good enzyme because it's cut only a mutant but not in the wild type. And so does, neither does DRA1 because it's cut, the DRA1 cut mutant but not wild type. MSE1, this is also good enzyme, it cut mutant but not wild type. So, so those are our choice. So for this one, uh, so if we pick SWA1, this enzyme probably going to work. Then if we double check and go to the NEB side, double check uh, NEB enzyme SWA1. And what does this enzyme work? This enzyme look for ATTTAAT. So and we can go put, go back to SWN should be A T T T A A A T. Yes, so this is uh, SWA one side. So this is a SWA one side, and we know our mutation is here. So so this indeed uh, uh, is a side can of can be affected by this uh, A mutate. A uh, uh, mutation, it G to A mutation will uh, basically eliminate the SWA site from the mutant. So, okay, I hope this is helpful.